Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Rajya Sabha witnesses adjournment over issues of teachers recruitment system in universities and Assam NRC. Lok Sabha adjourned for the day after paying tributes to sitting BJD MP Ladu Kishore Swain. Supreme Court begins hearing pleas seeking review of its verdict in Shabrimala case. President Ramnath Kovind confers Sangeet Natak Academy Awards 2017 to 42 artists. India's communication satellite GSAT-31 successfully launched from French Guiana. Second US North Korea summit to be held in Vietnam on 27th 28th of February announces US President Donald Trump. And in cricket, New Zealand beat Indian Eves by 23 runs in first T20 at Wellington, heading for a big total against the men's team. The Rajya Sabha today witnessed adjournment on the issues of teachers recruitment system in universities and Assam National Register of Citizens NRC. Members from Samajwadi Party, BSP and RJD had given an adjournment notice to discuss the department-wise filling of new vacancies in universities and colleges. They are demanding reintroduction of the previous 200-point roster system under which vacancies were filled. After laying of papers in the house, members from these parties tried to raise the issue while Congress MP Rupun Bora raked up the NRC issue. However, Chairman M Venkaiah Naidu refused permission and adjourned the house till 2 p.m. The Lok Sabha was adjourned for the day after paying tributes to its sitting BJD MP from Aska in Odisha, LK Swine. Speaker Sumitra Mahajan led the house in paying tributes to the departed leader. See, LK Swine ka nidhan 71 varsh ki aayu mein aaj subah Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha mein hua. Hum apne saathi ke nidhan par gehen shok vyakta karte hain. Yeh sabha shok ka santapt parivar ke prati apni samvedana vyakta karti hain. Mr. Swine was a member of the Odisha Legislative Assembly from 2004 to 2009 and elected to the 16th Lok Sabha in May 2014. Extending his condolences, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said in a tweet that Mr. Swine will be remembered for his rich service to society and his work towards rural development was noteworthy. Mr. Modi also spoke to his son Nachiketa. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Vadra's husband Robert Vadra is likely to appear before the Enforcement Directorate today in connection with a money laundering case. It relates to alleged purchase of a London-based property worth 1.9 million pounds by Mr. Vadra. The agency had told a Delhi court that it had received information about Vadra's several properties in London, including two houses, six flats, and more properties. Last week, the court had granted interim bail to Vadra. in the case and had directed him to appear before the ED and cooperate in the investigation addressing a press conference in new delhi this afternoon bjp spokesperson sambit patra said aaj ki jo puchtaach bhi ho rahi hai aur jo tatya hamare samne aa rahe hain ki kahin na kahin black money ko safed karne ki jo prakriya hai jisko round tripping kaha jata hai wo syntec company ke madhyam se robert vadra ne apne kickback paise ko ek round tripping karaya hai Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari today laid the foundation stone for three highway projects worth over 2300 crore rupees in Odisha. The projects will ensure better connectivity of the mineral rich Angul and Dhenkanal districts with the rest of the state. Later in the day, Mr Gadkari will visit Paradeep Port to inaugurate port project worth 431 crores and lay the foundation stone for six projects worth over 3000 crores. The projects will help in generating employment opportunities in the region and improve the socio-economic condition of the local people. The Supreme Court today commenced hearing on pleas seeking review of its verdict which had allowed entry of women of all age groups into Kerala's Shabrimala temple. Senior advocate K Prasaran appearing for Nair Service Society opened the arguments before a five-judge bench and sought setting aside of the verdict. The review petitions are being heard by a constitution bench headed by Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi. There are 64 cases being heard in total out of which some are review petitions and some transfer petitions. 
The Apex Court today sought a response from activist and lawyer Prashant Bhushan on contempt pleas by Attorney General K. K. Venugopal and the Center for his tweets allegedly criticizing the court on the appointment of M. Nageshwar Rao as interim CBI director. Bhushan has been given three weeks to reply. The court said it would deal with the larger question of whether it is open for lawyers or any other person to criticize the court in a sub matter, which would lead to influencing public opinion. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. You can also log on to our website, newsonair.nic.in. क्या बच गए बच गए जी बच गए पूरी गांव के बैठे बच गए वो कैसे कब हुई बीमारी जो दरवाजे हुए बंद बजे सबके हजारों पैसे दवाई इलाज के खर्चे हुए कम बच गए जी बच गए सबके पैसे बच गए भारत के घर घर में शौचालय खुला अब खुले में जाना बंद रखो दरवाजा बंद और याद रहे शौचालय का इस्तेमाल और देखरेख हर कोई हर रोज हमेशा स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर पेयजल एवं स्वच्छता मंत्रालय द्वारा जनहित में जारी दरवाजा बंद तो बीमारी बंद नमस्कार मैं नितिन गडकरी बोल रहा हूँ मेरा मानना है कि शराब पीना या ना पीना यह आपका निजी मामला है पर शराब पीकर गाड़ी चलाना एक कानूनी अपराध है हिंदुस्तान में हर साल डेढ़ लाख लोग रोड एक्सीडेंट में मर जाते हैं इससे हमारे देश का जीडीपी डी तीन परसेंट कम हो जाता है लगभग पचपन से साठ हजार करोड़ रुपए का देश का नुकसान होता है अगर आप शराब पीकर गाड़ी चलाना छोड़ दें, इसके लिए हम सब लोग मिलकर निश्चित रूप ऐसी कोशिश करें जय हिंद President Ram Nath Kovind gave away the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Awards 2017 at Rashtrapati Bhavan today. 42 artists from fields including music, dance, theatre, traditional folk and tribal music were awarded. More from our correspondent. 11 eminent artists were selected in the field of music. They include Lalit J. Rao, Umakant and Ramakant Gundecha in the field of Hindustani vocal music and MS Sheila in Carnatic music. Nine artists were awarded in dance category including Ram Krishna Talukdar for Satriya and Rama Vedyanathan for Bharat Natyam. Nine artists were chosen for the award in theatre. Ten artists were awarded in the category of traditional folk and tribal music. Vijay Verma and Sandhya Purecha were awarded for their overall contribution to the performing arts. The award carries a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees, a tamrapatra and angavastram. The General Council of the Sangeet Natak Academy, an autonomous body of the Ministry of Culture, had selected the awardees. Suparna Saitya, AIR News, Delhi. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu has said a clean government, clear vision and committed leadership is needed to transform the lives of people. The Vice President was interacting with students from the Indian Institute of Democratic Leadership in New Delhi. He stressed on the need for students pursuing a career in public life to understand the role and responsibility of every institution and their importance in the functioning of a democracy. The BJP today attacked the Congress citing media reports related to alleged January 2012 army coup. Talking to reporters, party spokesperson GVL Narasimha Rao alleged that during that time some senior minister had planted the story in the media to defame the Indian Army. He said this was done despite the fact that Intelligence Bureau had repeatedly declined any such attempt by the Indian Army. India's communication satellite GSAT-31 was successfully launched from French Guyana in the wee hours today. The satellite on board the Ariane 5 rocket lifted off from the Kuru launch base at 2.31 a.m. Indian time and in 42 minutes it was placed in the intended geosynchronous transfer orbit. The satellite was immediately taken control of by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO scientists from its Hassan facility in Karnataka. Director Satish Tavan Space Center Espandian, who represented ISRO at the launch, said, 
GSAT 31, which is a high power communication satellite with the KU band, is going to serve and replace some of the satellites which are getting expired soon. It is going to serve the country in various aspects like communications to islands and uh, mainland in terms of uh, business, DTH, and many more. We had a very, very cordial campaign with uh, Arian Space. This time we have taken only 28 days for the campaign activity under the leadership of Dr. Sivan. News just in. The Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day due to Samajwadi Party-led protests on the university roster system. U.S. President Donald Trump has announced that he will hold the second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Vietnam on the 27th and 28th of this month. The announcement was made during his second State of the Union address to the U.S. Congress in Washington this morning. Mr. Trump said progress has been made in his administration's efforts to achieve peace on the Korean Peninsula. Much work remains to be done, but my relationship with Kim Jong-un is a good one. Chairman Kim and I will meet again on February 27th and 28th in Vietnam. As part of a bold new diplomacy, we continue our historic push for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Making a strong pitch for people to enter the U.S. based on merit, the U.S. President said immigrants enrich the nation in countless ways. He said he wants people to come legally. Mr. Trump also said the U.S. Congress has 10 days left to pass a bill that will fund the government, protect homeland and secure the border with Mexico. He reiterated that he would get the wall built, informing the U.S. Congress that his administration is holding constructive talks with the Taliban. Mr. Trump said he has accelerated America's negotiations to reach a political settlement in Afghanistan. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. पापा हमारा पक्का घर बन जाने पर नया सामान लोगे ना क्या क्या चाहिए हमारी बेटी अरानी को हॉल में रखने के लिए टेलीविजन अच्छा और मम्मी के लिए किचन का सामान और 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 पापा घर के अंदर एक टॉयलेट हमको टॉयलेट के लिए बाहर ना जाना पड़े जरूर बेटी अच्छा और बताओ रानी बेटी को फिर लिए क्या क्या चाहिए मेरे लिए एक स्टडी टेबल चेयर और किताबें रखने के लिए एक अलमारी हाँ हमारी बेटी पढ़ लिखकर बड़ी अफसर बनेगी क्यों रानी को झूठे सपने दिखा रहे हो अरे ये सच है ये देखो हमारा लेटर प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत अब हमारे पक्के घर का अधूरा सपना होगा पूरा सच जी हाँ अब सबके सपने हो रहे हैं पूरे प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना शहरी स्कीम के अंतर्गत मिलने वाले घरों ऐसी लाखों लोगो ने अपने घर का सपना किया है पूरा अधिक जानकारी के लिए अपने स्थानीय शहरी निकाय ऐसी सम्पर्क करें हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल सबके लिए घर ये हमारा सपना भी है और संकल्प भी है In women's cricket, New Zealand defeated India by 23 runs in the first 2020 at Wellington today to take a 1-0 lead in the three-match series. Put into bat, the Kiwis had posted 159 for four, riding on opener Sophie Devine's 62 and end-of-inning cameos from skipper Amy Satterthwaite and Katie Martin. In reply, Smriti Mandhana's 58 and Jemima Rodriguez's 39 went in vain as the Indonesians were bundled out for 136 in 19.1 overs. The second T20 will be played in Auckland on Friday. Meanwhile, in men's cricket, New Zealand has set a victory target of 220 runs for India at the same ground at Wellington. India had won the toss and opted to bowl. Opener Tim Seifert top scored with 84 as the Kiwis made 219 for 6. After winning the five-match ODI series 4-1, the confident men in blue will be aiming for another series win. And now before we close, the headlines once again. Rajya Sabha adjourned for the day over issue of teachers' recruitment system in universities. Lok Sabha adjourned till tomorrow after paying tributes to sitting BJD MP Ladu Kishore Swain. Supreme Court begins hearing pleas seeking review of its verdict in Shabarimala case. President Ramnath Kovind confers Sangeet Natak Academy Awards 2017 to 42 artists. India's communication satellite GSAT-31 successfully launched from French Guyana. Second US-North Korea summit to be held in Vietnam on 27th-28th of February announces US President Donald Trump. 
and in cricket, New Zealand beat Indian Eves by 23 runs in first T20 at Wellington, set a 220-run target for the men's team. And with that, we end the midday news.